Mr. Luca, did you order wine and pizza? Yeah. There you go. Enjoy. <laughs> okay, Mr. Luca, that'll be ten dollars. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Anything for me? <clears throat> Is it fifteen percent tip? A fifteen percent tip? <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about the fifteen percent rule. Not if you're a cheap tipper and like to give 15%, but we're going to be talking about the 15% rule for changing KVP and MA on your radiology equipment coming up here at How Radiology Works. The percent rule in radiology is actually relating the change that you need to make to the MA or MAS in order to compensate for a change in KVP. So typically in a protocol for x-ray radiology, you'd like to specify the KVP first we have a video on KVP, why that's important for the penetration and for the contrast in imaging. But if you end up having to change the KVP for some reason, since if you have a patient that's significantly thicker, you need to get more penetration, or if the patient is thinner and you'd like to get more contrast, you have to change the KVP. You wanna compensate by changing the MAS in order to get the same signal at the detector. Getting the same signal on the detector, you can ensure that your quality is gonna be roughly similar by getting a similar level of noise on the detector. KVP is very important. It plays a much bigger role than the MA. So changes in KVP are much more important than changes in MA for both the contrast penetration standpoint, but also from the standpoint of how many x-rays are going to be generated. Imagine you decrease your KVP by just 15%. In that case, you need to increase your MA by a factor of two. So if you had 100 MA, you need to have 200 MA. Increase your KVP by 15%. So if you're at 100 KVP and you go to 115 KVP, for instance, then you need to decrease your MA by a factor of two. So if you were at 100 MA, you need to go down to 50 MA. The origins of the 15% rule come from two parts. One part is from the X-ray generation and the actual exposure technique that's gonna be used. So how many X-rays are gonna be coming in to the body? And that amount of X-rays roughly goes like KVP squared. So if you increase your KVP by a factor of two from say 70 to 140 KVP, then instead of just a factor of two times more x-rays, you're going to have four times more x-rays. As we've talked about before, the higher the KVP, the more likely the x-rays are going to actually make it through the patient. So obviously this depends a lot on the KVP and the body anatomy, but roughly you can think of the likelihood of the x-rays making it through the patient goes like KVP to the third. So measured at the image receptor goes roughly like KVP to the fifth power then. You're changing your protocol from you have a given MAS in your protocol, and then you need to change uh, the KVP from KVP to KVP new, then you wanna calculate the MAS new. So you're gonna take the original MAS and you're gonna multiply by the ratio of KVP divided by KVP nu to the fifth power. Even us physics guys like to sit around and think about raising things to the fifth power. So it's very useful to have an approximation for this relationship. And that is the 15% rule. 0.15 is a 15% change. And if you think about 1.15 raised to the fifth power is actually two. That's where your 15% rule comes from. The fact that KVP is very strongly an influence on both the x-ray generation and the x-rays that actually penetrate the patient. So it's as simple as that. If your KVP is decreased by 15%, you're gonna wanna take your MAS and you're gonna wanna multiply it by a factor of two. Your KVP is increased by 15%, so from 100 to 115, you're gonna wanna take your MAS and you're gonna wanna divide it by two or multiply by 0.5. Our video on x-ray penetration to make sure you really understand the idea about the x-rays making it through the human body, and that informs our 15% rule.